So I want to ask you about turning point. Okay. Versus uh, the groipers. Yeah. Yeah. And what is a groiper? Groiper is a term that deals with. I mean, these people have like a lot of like these frog emojis that relate to Pepe the Frog. So. It, they call themselves groipers, uh, kind of relates to that. And a lot of them are people who follow, uh, like folks like Nick Fuentes, for example. So what's your impression of Nick and, and this whole groiper thing? The whole groiper thing, it's, it, it's kind of, I'm, I'm a bit conflicted because obviously I disagree with a lot of what they say, um, but I like that they are challenging sort of what they call conservative ink. Right. Uh, I think Folks like, I mean, they actually did, for example, Charlie Kirk recently changed his position on things like F1 visas because these people kept questioning him over and over again on this issue. And then he saw people like Tucker Carlson and Michelle Malkin even come after him and say, yeah. this is a dumb policy. And then he freaked out. And I guess he, he, who knows if he had a sincere change of heart or if he just felt pressured to do so, but he changed his mind on that. And I think oh, really? forcing that in the conversation is pretty interesting. And uh, so do you think that these guys have a right to show up at turning points event events and uh, try to be a part of the questions and answer period, knowing that turning point doesn't want them to be a part of it. Turning point, USA. Um, well, turning point has the, the the format they've set up is you know this is a public event. Anyone can come up and ask questions. So in that sense, they do have the right to go up and ask whatever questions okay. they want, and. Uh, there's been, it seems like there's been some shady dealings where, you know, they, they might see a female in the line and they know statistically a female is less likely to be a groiper, so they'll bring that female up to the front. That actually happened at one of the events where the female came up and said, uh, I don't know why you guys brought me to the front of the line. It seems you did it because you thought I wasn't a groiper or whatever. Oh. But, um, so they do some of the things like that, but generally it seems like they've allowed them to ask the questions, so that's good, man. So yeah, what's your impression of Turning Point USA? <laughs> I think they, uh, I, I think they're an organization that's backed by a lot of big moneyed interests, uh, corporate interests, and I don't think their voice is super sincere. And I think they, I don't know what it is with Charlie Kirk, but he seems to want to pick the worst voices to represent his movement. People who aren't super educated, people who aren't just, they're not smart or good debaters, and he picks those people to represent his organization. And people like who? People like Candace Owens, who I'm not a fan of. People like, uh, I mean, just all these sort of like Twitter personalities who you see who are affiliated with Turning Point USA. And I just, I just don't think, it'll, Rob Smith, for example, I don't think he's the brightest, but I think he sees like, it's like tokenism in a way. He's like, oh, this person's gay and black. Well, that's going to be like, <laughs> hey, liberals, got you there. You know, like, oh, we got a gay black guy and we're conservative. Like, what are you going to do? So. And what's wrong with uh, what do you disagree about Candace Owens? Uh, I, I, I don't know if she's a super good faith actor. I uh -huh. think she's a bit of what you might call a grifter. Uh, and I've seen her just make terrible arguments. Like I did a video about her when she went on the Joe Rogan experience and she was talking about climate change and her arguments were just terrible and she did, just didn't make any sense. So do you believe she knows what she's talking about or she's just guessing? Or just try to have some type of conversation. I going. think a lot of what she does is theatrics. So this idea that if you talk really fast, you sound smarter than you actually are. And I think she engages in a lot of that. She's she can definitely talk really fast. She would yeah. be great in like a rap battle or something like that. But <laughs> uh, I don't I don't think she's particularly intelligent. Wow, amazing. And she has me blocked on Twitter. So. Oh, she does. Yeah. Why? A lot of people have me blocked on Twitter. A lot of these uh, folks. Why? They don't like me, or they think I criticize them too much, or oh, something they don't want like to that. hear the truth. Yeah, at least what you believe the truth, they can't handle that. I don't think so. Have you ever blocked anyone on your? I side? don't have anybody blocked actually. You let anybody through? I don't think I don't think I have a single person blocked. I might have a few muted though. Oh, I see. Yeah. And what's the difference between you? So block means like they can't see any of your content and they can't engage with any of your content, whereas muted is just like for you, for me personally, like I don't have to necessarily. Oh. see that stuff like pop up in my notifications Would or you ever block a black man with a husband on your site? <laughs> I mean, I haven't blocked anybody so far, so I don't see why I would. I noticed that turning points seem to be cowardly, like they don't really face anyone and just deal with the issue. Mm. Have you noticed that? Yeah. Because we've tried to get them on the show and they refuse mm. to come. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sure they do refuse. And they're not, I feel like, doesn't Charlie Kirk live close to here? I don't know if he lives in know. L.A. or not, but... 
Yeah, he's pretty close. And why do you think they would not come on my show? I mean, I think they're afraid to defend a lot of their positions. They're not afraid to do it with a lot of uninformed college students, especially like if they perceive them as the opposition, because that actually works in their favor. Right. If they view them as a leftist, it's like, oh, look, we can create highlight reels of us disagreeing with leftists who aren't really informed on the issues, and then it makes us look good, and then we get more donors. But I don't think he wants to come on programs where his ideas are really going to be challenged and potentially hurt his organization. So is he a beta or an alpha? I'd probably put him more in the beta category. <laughs>